Okay, taking a rest back in the shelter and uh, judging by the amount of dry grass around here, I don't think it's a good idea to have, uh, have a fire with or without uh, rocks. So instead, what I have to show you is my conduit stove. Got this on my, on my YouTube channel as it were. This was a build and I call it my firebox. What I've done is bought a brought a big large slab of uh, rock in here. And this is your <clears throat> kind of like your fondue or sterno can. So this is a multi-fuel stove. So this stove actually is two conduit boxes. There's a face plate with some holes drilled in. You can see that. Drilled in top. And that's uh I think that's a Base plate or the backer plate of a conduit box and I've got some coat hanger bent over there to act as as grill now the two boxes themselves slide apart look at that okay air damper holes those, that's where the conduit goes in it even comes with those screws now this is a conduit box extension. Here's the conduit box itself. Normally you're fixed onto the wall like this, but it also has the punch outs that I've punched just halfway in. Now what I did do was I cut the wall, same as this side, cut the wall down and hammered it flat. Now, when that's laying flat, I also made a little tin, I guess, a little steel ashtray. That fits right in the bottom. So we're gonna try to find a level surface to start. Oh, that feels, that feels pretty good. Now with the extension, the conduit box extension, it has the slots in the bottom. That just matches up over top and slides right together. I thought that was pretty slick. Okay, now this is a multi-fuel stove because when we put that on there like so, okay, we can also, okay, drop our tin cup on there, a frying pan, a larger pot on the top and being multi-fuel we have the fuel from the bottom okay there we go it sits on the bottom like so or without that stove in there separate it here always Fun to be with one hand. There we go. Without that stove in there, and the two pieces together, now it becomes your standard stick and twig fed stove. And once going, we feed the sticks in through the bottom. And all that heat just circulates up right up through the top. And acts really, really good. It does a really good job. And because it compact and so you know it collapses down, and the thing's nearly bulletproof. So we're gonna get that fired up and uh, and boil this water so I can have a, a cup of tea. Maybe I can go find some pine needles or cedars. <laughs> 